For those of you interested in the DriveRack PA2, here's a look at the features included in the app. Most of you will probably start out with the wizard button. This allows you to select your loudspeakers and amplifiers. It allows you to have access to the level assistant, auto EQ, and AFS wizards. Starting off, you will probably want to use the run all wizards option. But if you find you just need to run the auto EQ, you can simply select the run auto EQ level assist option. This allows you to EQ the entire system without having to select speakers and amps. The home screen gives you access to every feature found in the PA2. The graphic EQ allows you to manually adjust 31 bands from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. By pressing the draw button, you can quickly draw in the frequencies you want to boost or attenuate. You will also find quick curve options at the bottom of the screen. Clicking on auto EQ allows you to adjust the 8 band parametric EQ exactly how you want. Advanced Feedback Suppression gives you access to its options. You can set the total amount of filters, amount of fixed filters, and adjust the live filter lift to the desired amount of time. The Subharmonic Synth can enhance the low end in your sound setup. Make sure you verify with your speaker manufacturer that they're able to reproduce sounds this low. There is no one right way to set the Subharmonic Synth, but the next couple of tips may help. If your subs are too growly, try decreasing the 36 through 56 Hz range. If they are bottoming out, try decreasing the 24 through 36 Hz range. The compressor allows you to change the dynamic range of your system. It is worth noting that the attack and release times are auto-dynamic. The pre-delay applies a delay to the entire system, but the output delay should be adjusted first for driver alignment. Just measure the distance of the instrument furthest back on the stage to the main speaker and then enter that distance into the pre-delay. The crossover allows you to adjust the frequencies that are correct for your speakers. If you run the wizard, this will automatically be adjusted for the speakers you choose. Each set of outputs have an 8-band parametric EQ, which allows you to flatten the loudspeaker. They also have a limiter for optimizing gain structure. This feature is automatically set when selecting an available power amp in the wizard. If your power amp is not listed, it is recommended to set this manually. There is also an option to delay the output if you have speakers placed at different depths. Again, this should be adjusted before adjusting the pre-delay. The wizard will analyze an EQ for you, but if you prefer to do it manually, you can always analyze the signal using the RTA with an RTA microphone. The signal generator will send pink or white noise through the speakers, which can be used for analyzing your system. The presets menu will allow you to store, recall, and rename presets in your device. It will also allow you to transfer presets to your computer or mobile device. The first 75 are user presets, and those presets after 75 are factory presets. Settings allows you to see system information like IP addresses and software versions. You can check for updates here as well. Clicking on the meters allows you to see a larger version of the signals going through your drive rack. Here you also have mutes on each channel as well as a global mute. These are the main features of the drive rack PA2 app. For a more in-depth look, please refer to the PA2 user manual available at www.dbxpro.com.